Hello guys and welcome back to part 44 of What a Legend on Miss K. Let's go. Okay, so not keeping your word is not a good idea. Poor Myrtle though. She seems confused. What they wouldn't do though. <laughs> I need to think about it. Let's think about it. Toy maker. That wooden dildo was extremely well craft. And Myrtle said she made it herself. Maybe she can make more and sell them. Rose sells wine and other stuff. Perhaps she can help. I should go out to the field, pick the toy up from the ground, and take it to Rose to get her opinion. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know if I would ever buy one of these if I were a girl, but nobody can deny that the quality is top notch. Rose is more experienced in selling goods around here. Maybe she can help. Yeah. So first of all, let's check the map. I don't know if she is already available. Hi, Rose. Hello. Got a minute. I want to show you something. I've got no, the whole night, dear. Oh my. So romantic of you, Miski. Giving a girl a dildo. I would prefer my toys a lot larger than this. It's for something else. What do you think about this quality? It's quality. Hmm. I like it. It's well made and has got a polished feel to it. It was used not long ago. I can still smell the girl who played with it. That will be Myrtle. She made it herself. The girl who lives in the hut near the river. Yeah, do you know her? I only know her by name. Her husband has afraid of me and avoided coming here, but I didn't know she was so talented. Do you think she'd be able to earn money selling toys like that? Not like this exactly, but yes, most girls I know would happily swap their vegetables for a good dildo. Is it because of Lord Hammerdick? Yeah, how did you guess? He tried to make me pay taxes too, but ran away after I read his palm. Why? What did you see? Ugh. I don't want to spoil the story, dear. Fine. I'll go and tell Myrtle she should make more toys. Wait. I'll come with you. I want to meet this sweet girl. Sweet smelling girl. As you wish. Mm. Come in. Nice hat. Yeah, I like it too. Myrtle must be upstairs in her bedroom. I bet she's sleeping. Miski, who are you talking with? Could you calm down, please? There's someone here I wanted to meet. All right. Oh, hi. Why, hello, dear. Myrtle, this is Rose. She, too, lives in the woods, and she's got a friend of mine. And, Rose, this is a beautiful and talented Myrtle. Beautiful, indeed. What did you say, Rose? Jack used to say that you... Are dangerous and I should stay away from your vacan. Your husband had believed ill founded rumors. But I've not come here to talk about the village gossipers. I've come for this. Oh no! Miski! What is the meaning of this? Miski brought this daughter to me because he cares for you. He brought my toy to you because he cares for me. I've got an idea. A way for you to make money. What? Money, dear. Enough to pay off your taxes and still have some left in your pocket. But first, is it true that you made a beautifully crafted dildo? Uh -huh, I made it. She even modeled it after her husband penis. She's that good. Ugh, Miski. You mustn't say things like that. No need to be shy around, Rose. She knows things. And you shouldn't throw away your future like that. My future? What do you mean? You can take a lot of money selling dildos. Sell the others? I, I can't do that. What will my husband think? Your husband is not there, my girl. It's a decision you have to make for yourself. But he wouldn't even know what to do. You do what you do best. Craft beautiful the others. And Miski will do the rest. Come on, Myrtle. The way you can make money on your own, just like you want it. Ah, right. I'll think about it. You need to act now, not think, Myrtle, Hammerdick could come back tomorrow. <laughs> He's right. I don't know how much time I have left. And woodworking is the only thing I'm good at. Okay, but no sex toys. I'll make something else. Chairs, tables. There are plenty of chair to makers around, but not toy makers. 
Stop saying no to everything, girl. Give it a try. Maybe they're right. Yes, I mean, okay, I'll try. Excellent. Only one thing. You'll need to make a bigger deal, though. Excuse me, but my husband's tool has the perfect shape and size. Oh, my sweet girl. I'm sure your husband was a wonderful man. But you need something more attention-calling. Something closer to the size of Miska's package. But have you seen Miska's package? Well, might be a bit too big. My, by package, you mean cock, right? Yes. Myrta's going to use your penis to make her new sex toys. Oh, so I'd like to, I'd like and love to make women happy. Make a bigger toy, give it to Miss Key and bring it to me. And I'll fetch your customers. Thank you so much, Rose. It's my pleasure, dear. We girls have to help each other. And Miss Key's penis seems to be bursting to be measured. Have fun. <laughs> Jack was so wrong about her. Rose is one of the most trustworthy persons I know. <laughs> Look, I should have told you about the other stuff first, but I didn't want to raise your hopes before talking with Rose. It's okay, Miss Key. I know you wanted to help. And maybe you're right, and selling toys in the solution. Shall we find out? Uh-huh. Uh, one moment. Okay. This is going to be so much fun, and I will also be benefiting the society. Satisfying the women of the realm is no small service. Mm -hmm. Why did you change your clothes? Because I'm going to be working tonight. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. And see you, surely, most likely, in the next video. Bye.